hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today I have a another press on order and I decided to try and complete this set using the dip powder method so first I'm gonna go ahead and prep the uh, nail tips these are full cover gel tips and I will prep them for the uh, dip powder application by just filing and shaping and buffing the surface just so that the uh, product can adhere to the uh, nail bed or nail surface better and buffing the surface of the nail definitely helps with that adhere adhesion adhesion of that uh, product whether you're using gel polish acrylic um, like this dip powder doesn't matter uh, getting rid of that shine definitely helps um, to keep that uh, product on that surface of that nail so like I said I'm going ahead and uh, buffing the surface and removing that shine then I will go ahead and um, adhere the nail tips to my finger the stands and I'm using the Kiara Sky uh, Dip Powder Kit, so I'll make sure I link that down below. Um, I have a lot of different uh, acrylic that are two in one, so you can use it as a dip powder and as a um, as like a regular acrylic with monomer. So starting off with the bond, and I'm doing um, a layer of that. And that is number one um, on the Kiara Sky Dip Powder Kit. And then I'm using their um, recycle uh, container that you can use to put the dip powders or glitters or anything like that and reuse it. So I'll put in the second um, the second uh, gel, I believe this one is the Bond, and I'll go ahead and put a thin layer over the uh, gel extension, and then put a thin coat of the dip powder over it. And I am doing, I'll do about two or three layers um, of that dip powder. And since you don't have to cure it or anything, you can let it dry and then you can go ahead and go in with your next um, your next coats. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'll dust off any excess and then go ahead with my second coat. Um, you will see me use the this little scooper. I actually knocked, knocked that one in there by mistake, but dipping it in a dip powder doesn't hurt either. And then while these are drying, I will go ahead and work on like the next set of nails. Um, this one is number three, which is to seal and protect. So once you finish the layers that you're done, um, once you feel like it's thick enough that you how you want it, you would put a thin layer of the seal and protect on. And this kind of seeps through those different layers of um, dip powder so that it can harden and then you'll be able to shape and file after you're done with your different layers. So I do believe I went in with two coats of this. I just made sure that they were, um, you know, fully saturated with this seal and protect just so that I can make sure that the uh, dip powder is nice and dry before I get ready to file.
California sun on a summer day. So this is the next set of nails and like I said I will go ahead and in between I will kind of alter back and forth between the nails to make sure um, to make sure that the 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 ceiling protect has dried all the way through so I'll go ahead and work on these I believe these are the pointer fingers so I'll go thumbs um, pointer fingers middle finger ring finger and pinky usually the middle and ring finger are the same size so I don't have to do multiple sizes for those um, but the thumb pointer finger and pinky are sometimes different sizes and depending on if the client knows what size um, fingers they have I would send multiple sizes just so that they can have um, the options of making sure that the um, the nail tips fit also in this kit um, it comes with a brush cleaner so sometimes the dip powder can kind of get mixed in there with the brushes um, depending on whether you're using the bonder or the um, the number three um, you can switch out the brush tops just so that the brush can stay clean so now that I have finished with my different layers, I will go ahead and um, tighten up the shape using my file. I'm using an 80 grit file here and just buff the surface to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then I'll go ahead with the buffer just to kind of um, make sure all of those scratches and stuff uh, from the 80, um, 80 grit file has been buffed out. So this buffer that I have there is a 100 um, grit and then a 180 grit on the other side. So I would buff with the 100 grit first and then finish it off with the 180 grit. So now I'm going ahead with some alcohol and just cleaning off all the dust and debris.
and then I'll go ahead with some base coat and just prepare the nail tips for gel polish application so this is a birthday set and she did send me a picture of the inspiration that she wanted to go for for this set so uh, when I get the picture I let them know if, I, if it's something that I can't quite do exactly as the picture but I will do as close to the picture as possible so she wanted a kind of nude base like a nudish pink base so I went ahead with this uh, pink base and this one actually has a little bit of um, glitter in it so I wanted that to kind of stand out um, since this is a birthday set so I just wanted to make that make it as cute as possible just a little extra for her birthday so I'll go in with two coats I'll cure it um, I'll cure it for 30 seconds in between and then 60 seconds for the final coat So I do believe that this, um, the thumbs I think were um, plain or I think I did a little something extra on them. But I went ahead with the super glossy top coat and I would clean off the edges just so that any um, gel won't pull around the edges and kind of take away from the shape. So now um, with these I am With the top coat, I'm curing that for um, 90 seconds. So I, what I did was I put some gym gel on these and then I put the top coat on them and I'm doing a little bit of cuticle beads with some AB crystals. And I like to go over that with the top coat so that when I do cure it, it won't be sticky. And with each nail, you will see me um, wipe across the around the free edge area. Like I said, I don't want the top coat to pull around it. It can kind of build up and make the shape of the nails kind of wonky. So I went ahead and made sure that I would wipe the free edge area of the nail so it wasn't take away from the shape. So uh, after I did the AB crystals, I cured it under the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'll go in with my precision applicator and secure the gems. 
and cure that for 90 seconds. So now I am going ahead with the next set of nails and doing the same process all over again. And I really love this recycle um, tray because it makes it a lot easier to pour the dip powder over because it comes with two little scoopers. So I went ahead and scooped up as much as that dip powder as I could just so that it would make the process a lot easier for me and I won't have to work too hard using that little scooper that I was using um, the first time. And what I love about the dip powder is you don't have to cure in between layers, even though sometimes a gel polish method um, works well, but you don't always have to cure it every time in between um, each set of nails that you're doing. So I went ahead and did my two to three layers, and now I am um, doing the, uh, the third step in the dip powder process so that the um, powder can dry and harden and then I can prepare to uh, shape and buff these uh, gel extensions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and your notification bell. Thank you. So when you see me tapping um, the surface, I always like to do that just to make sure that the, um, the dip powder has been dried all the way through. And just like you would do an acrylic set, you just wanna make sure that it's dried all the way through before you start shaping and filing because then you don't want um, any of that dip powder or acrylic or anything like that to get kind of caught up in your uh, in your file, whether it's hand filing or electric filing.
California sun on a summer day. Feeling good in my head, headed out till I'm on my way. I'm driving up the coast to see the waves. There's something comforting by looking at the edge of the world. Oh, I'm a roller. All right, so now that I have um, all the nails um, prepped and ready to go, she wants wanted some um, gem designs on a few nails so I went ahead and used my condensed um, gel glue because um, it was a lot of them that I needed to put on there and I wanted to make sure and make sure they were nice and secured and I know that condensed um, gem glue works wonders I know eventually I will have to um, get some more because I did use it, do use it a lot. And I did a little bit of gold um, beads in there as well. Like those little pixie kind of like caviar beads. And a little bit of gold um, crystals as well. Because it did, um, the design did have like a little bit of a gold and silver look to them. So um, you will see me putting in different designs there. And you will see me continue to rub the sides of the free edge area just to prevent any um, of the top coat um, kind of pulling around the uh, around the free edge area so that's how I keep it nice and clean so here is how the nails turned out um, this is the packaging that I'm used starting to use for my press on clients I did put the numbers in so that she uh, would know what size she's using and then I can have that information for the next order so tell me what you guys think down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye